So have you been using the Bermuda job board recently? And have you been getting the results that you were hoping for? Maybe there's a few things that you need to make sure that you're, you're doing so that you can use this platform and take it the best advantage as possible. So the Bermuda job board is a free resource for you, for job seekers. And it's an amazing tool to use because a lot of companies do use it because it's free to advertise. So it's definitely a great resource when you're job seeking on the island. So I'm going to highlight um, a few points today that, that I find because I use it a lot on behalf of my clients. So I wanted to share some kind of feedback um, for things that I see that maybe that candidates can kind of do better to help them, um, you know, improve the impression of how they're coming across on this end. So first thing I would say is make sure you do attach your resume. Might sound a bit silly, um, but just double check before you click submit that your resume is actually attached because I do get that quite often. And it just takes time then for either the client or myself to contact the person and sort of ask for the resume. Now, if a company has, um, you know, a lot of applicants on there, they might not even sort of bother asking you for the resume. So always make sure that your resume is attached and you can add supporting documents on there as well. So, you know, you might want to um, add on confirmation of your qualifications or maybe employment references. Um, another thing that I see that happens is if you go going to upload a cover letter on there, make sure that the cover letter is addressed to the company that you're applying to. I've had it lots of times where the application comes through, I look at the cover letter and it's to a different company, a different job, and sometimes the job's actually not related to the job I'm recruiting for. So it does make me think, do you really want the job that I'm hiring for? So yeah, check any documents, make sure they're accurate before you do click submit because it's really important when you're making that first impression on this end to make sure it, it's, you know, portraying you in the right light. So another thing that I do see quite often is spelling mistakes um, on resumes and documents. So really, really bad no-no. Um, unless you have really, really good experience and qualifications, if a company does see spelling mistakes, um, they're probably just going to discount you. So always get somebody to proofread your documents. I know that you can spend a long time looking at resumes and they look absolutely fine, uh, but get some fresh eyes on there, maybe a neighbor or a friend, um, and they can usually pick up on some areas that maybe you've overlooked. So definitely make sure that you have no spelling mistakes. Uh, another thing to think about is to make sure all your contact information is up to date as well. So um, I've had a situation recently where the resume wasn't attached or I tried to reach out to the person, they weren't answering their emails. Um, so I called several numbers and only one of the numbers actually worked on there. So I did let the candidate know that you need to kind of make sure that if your numbers and things change, just make sure that you're changing that on your job board account as well so that we can get hold of you. Another thing to mention, um, which it, it's just a little frustration that, that I have, um, if you're going to apply for a job, um, do check your emails. Um, I'll send emails, reach out to people, sometimes chase up to them and, you know, I'll, I'll call them and they'll say, oh, I've not checked, checked my email recently. And it's like, okay, you're applying for a job, like, please check your emails. So um, if you are checking your emails regularly and you're not getting the responses, then make sure you do check your junk folder. Because if somebody's emailing you for the first time, um, your firewall might be quite sensitive and it just puts them in your junk folder. And especially if you're just checking your emails on your phone um, and not on a PC, you can miss things. So always make a habit of regularly just checking the junk folder, just make sure nothing important's fell into there that you can, you're can you gonna miss. So that's, that's another uh, thing I wanted to mention as well. There is one other thing. Um, that I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, the other thing, sorry, I had a few things to uh, share today. Um, something that I just wanna be honest about is um, when you see a resume that's been uploaded to the job board and you see that the file name is, you know, such and such resume 2015, what that makes me think is this person's been looking for a job for nearly six years, what's wrong with them? 
or it might think this person hasn't done anything new in six years, what's wrong with them? Um, or this person doesn't really care, uh, they're just sending the same resume they sent six years ago, they're not really trying to impress me. So any documents that you have, just make sure that your file names are saved, they're current, that you're updating your resume, uh, that it's all aligned and stuff. Um, it just can make a much better impression on this side. Um, and that's just me really being honest and it's just kind of human nature. We try to, you know, we read into things that, you know, not necessarily are true. But again, I always like to be honest with people and just kind of share that so they can see, you know, how things might be coming across. And just again, just to help you improve, um, you know, your experience of the job application process, which, you know, is, is not the most easiest uh best of times. So hopefully sharing a few of my sort of thoughts and feedback on how to, you know, use the Bermuda job board and get the most out of it today will, will help you or help somebody else in their search. I, again, I didn't mention before, but I'm Stephanie Brown. I'm a recruiter currently based in Bermuda. Thank you so much for watching my video.